Today, I wanted to show you how you can go from Lightroom on the tablet to Photoshop and then back. You can round trip just like you can over on the computer. So this is my week of just trying to help educate people on, on the overall things that you can do on a tablet. I've got a course out. I know not everybody's gonna buy it, but at the same time, I would still like to show people features that you have and you're already paying for with your Adobe plan. You get Lightroom and Photoshop on the tablet. And I'll just show you features that you have that you might not have even known that you've had on there. Uh, this one's gonna be specific to the iPad though, because while Lightroom is on an Android or Apple device, Photoshop is only on the iPad. Okay, so if you have an Adobe plan, you you have it, but you've got to fire it up here on the iPad and install that Photoshop app. Log in, everything would get connected from there. And then once you're editing inside of Lightroom, uh, you'll have the option to jump into Photoshop. Let's go ahead. Uh, I'll just tap on auto for this photo and maybe go pull back the exposure just a hair. Go down here to optics, lens corrections. I'll, I'll do the upright here just to straighten things out. So I think that's a good overall you know, basic edit to the photo. So let's say I wanna do some Photoshop stuff to this, okay? It could be a distraction removal that you just can't get done inside of Lightroom here. It could be some AI, it could be something specific where you want to add text or change, make a selection of something or change the color, whatever it happens to be. So we're gonna go into the, uh, the little export share icon in the top there. And one of those options that we're gonna see up there is edit in Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And that's gonna take this photo, it's gonna render it and it's going to launch it over into the Photoshop iPad interface here. While the photo is moving over, perfect time, quick 30 second word from our sponsor. If you're interested in this stuff, uh, I have a course uh, on called Edit on the Go. It's actually on sale this week and with some time specific bonuses, but the idea is it's all about tablet workflow. If you're somebody that's interested in this, you get all these apps for the tablet, even if, you know, if you've got them for the desktop, you have them for the tablet. Uh, Apple, Android does both of them, Lightroom's on both devices. And we talk about getting using your tablet to get the photos over. Maybe you wanna back them up onto an external hard drive while you're traveling. Um, how to get them into Lightroom. You don't have to sync to the cloud. If you don't have internet, you can still use Lightroom on the tablet to import, organize, sort through, edit your photos. Uh, you really don't need an internet connection until you get back. And then when you do get back, we show you how to get those photos onto your main drives, which I think what everybody wants with the edits, with all the stuff into Lightroom Classic or Lightroom, whichever version you happen to be using. So it is on sale with a few time specific bonuses. Hope you'll swing by to find out a little bit more. Once it's there, just a couple of things to, to remember. Number one, it is making a copy of your photo. Um, and number two, it's not blazingly fast. My iPad's about four years old, so maybe some of the newer ones are fast, but just be prepared for a little bit of lag compared to what you might be used to. Now, I can't go over the entire Photoshop interface here. My whole goal with this is just to show you the workflow, the round trip workflow. So one of the tools that I'll use, we'll, we'll just have some fun with it. I'm gonna go to my lasso selection tool here. Um, I'm gonna lasso, let's, let's lasso something down here in this area. And once I do that, you're gonna see that it gives our little contextual taskbar that you'll see down there at the bottom. So let's tap generative fill, because we do have generative fill here. And I'm just gonna type in cat. Cat on ground. Let's just see what happens. We'll tap generate. Again, uh, you'll need to be connected to the internet for this to work. It doesn't necessarily mean you'd be connected to the Adobe Cloud and syncing, but you do need to be connected to the internet. I mentioned it in another video. If you're ever not sure, turn your tablet into, la into airplane mode and you'll start to see, try to do things and you'll start to see what you can and can't do. All right, so we got big old fat cat laying on the ground with very eerie orange eyes. When you open up your layers over here on the left-hand side, uh, when you open that up, you'll start to see that you have your variations over here. Okay, so you can see variations section on there and you can tap, oh, that actually looks pretty good. I don't know if the cat is missing an eye. Oh, the cat's missing both eyes. <laughs> so at a distance, it looks really good. But as you get a little closer, our, our cat, our cat leaves it, or, or is it looking, is its head 
to the back of us? I don't know. Anyway, you know how this generative AI stuff can be. So I don't know that that cat looks like it's got this beat up a little bit too. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to tap on that layer. We're going to tap. There's three little dots back there and we're just going to hit delete. We're going to get, we're going to get rid of, we're going to get rid of our cat right away. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Let's take our lasso tool. Let's make a little selection up at the top there, generative fill. And let's just put, let's just put, you know, old sign. Let's I don't even know what it'll come up with. Just curious again, just thinking of ideas to waste time for us here inside of Photoshop. You can skip through all of this stuff if you don't want to see what humorous things could possibly arise because I haven't tried any of these. Again, I just wanted to show you the, uh, I just want to show you the, the, the round trip workflow from Lightroom to Photoshop and back but it'll be interesting to see what kind of a sign that it creates for us here. And there we go. All right, don't know what that means. I mean, looks real. I have no idea what it says, but it looks real. I'm sure you could probably type words in there if you wanted to, but you can tap through your, uh, that one actually looks pretty decent. I, I would say if it actually said something that, that meant something to where we were, um, nobody would even know that we had a sign in there. But again, that all comes in as a layer uh, there in your layers palette. And you can go through your variations and your layer properties. You've got you know, opacity, all those fun things that we're used to having. So let's get back to the, the bulk of what we're supposed to be talking about here and not funny, weird cats laying on the ground. Up in the top left-hand corner, you will see send to Lightroom. So we tap on that and now that's gonna save, remember it did make a copy of the photo. So that's gonna save that photo and save the copy of the photo with the layers that we added to it. And it will bring us back to our album inside of Lightroom. So if you were to look over in the middle here, there is our original photo and just over to the left of it is our photo that's got the fake sign in it. So you're able to go right from Lightroom to Photoshop and then back again on the tablet, you know, pretty much just like you do over on the computer. Uh, also, as you probably already know, but if you don't, I have a course called Edit on the Go that is on sale this week. So. Um, if you're interested in learning more about this stuff, what we talked about here, but a whole lot more about the entire workflow and getting these photos to the right place and all that other stuff uh, is also covered in that course. So I do hope you'll swing by and find out a little bit more.